Have you ever dreamed of flying without wings or engines? What if nature already holds the key? Meet Viktor Grebennikov, a Russian entomologist whose secretive invention defied gravity, a creation that could have revolutionized modern aviation. In the late 1980s, Grebennikov was studying insects in Siberia when he noticed something strange. The exoskeletons of certain beetles seemed to repel small objects, almost like a force field. He called this effect the cavity structural effect, or CSE. Grebennikov believed the microscopic structures in these wings held the remarkable ability to distort gravity itself. This groundbreaking realization inspired him to embark on his boldest and most ambitious experiment, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. Here's what appears to be a 10-pound sealed acid battery flying like a feather. Using pieces of these mysterious beetle wings, Grebennikov claimed to have constructed a groundbreaking flying platform. This device, as he described, harnessed the unique natural properties of the wings to achieve levitation, seemingly defying the laws of physics. In 1992, the newspaper Molodost Sibiri, or Siberia in Russian, published a preview of Grebennikov's book, My World, featuring the first photographs of him flying on his platform. These photos were later republished in Tenika Molodeji magazine. Whoosh, that's a mouthful. The magazine article claimed the book would span 500 pages with 400 color images, including details about the platform's principles, capabilities, and equipment. Grebennikov intended to fully explain his invention, but proofreaders, editors, and possibly authorities prohibited the release of such sensitive information. As a result, Grebennikov was forced to remove significant sections, rewriting much of the book to comply. Hints and clues about the platform remained, but to avoid completely exposing its details, he left only two flight photographs as they were already public. The final version of his book, My World, was over 300 pages, with many unrelated butterfly images instead. Here's Viktor Grebennikov responded to questions during an interview about his anti-gravity platform with deliberate caution, choosing his words as though they had been meticulously crafted by a government official and maintaining a classified level of discretion. It is unfortunate that Grebennikov did not discuss the years he spent extensively studying, designing his anti-gravity platform, and conducting numerous experiments. Alongside Professor V. Zolotarev, he filed a patent application for their work. By 1991, Grebennikov had constructed an anti-gravity, flying platform capable of silent flight at speeds ranging from 1,500 to 2,400 km per hour, that's approximately 900 
to 1,500 mile per hour. That could have drastically changed modern aviation and transportation. It's unfortunate that, after Viktor Grebenikov's death, his flying anti-gravity platform was dismantled, and the main platform appears to be missing. Also, Grebenikov's patent application was rejected due to several reasons. His claims lacked reproducible scientific experiments or peer-reviewed validation, making the patent scientifically untenable. It violated of known physics. Some conspiracy theories suggest the technology might have been classified for national security reasons. What are your thoughts on Viktor Grebenikov's anti-gravity platform? Why do you think the details of his platform are missing? Please leave your comments below and don't forget to smash that like button. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.